Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Alright, so this is Inkscape, and why am I still playing with this? You're wondering. The answer is this. When I do number seven, the number seven, and I select that, all of it, right there, that information is now in an SVG. So if I type, if I save this, I just did, oh, uh, I need to switch to English. OS. And I'm going to call it number seven. All right, so that is number seven, right? <clears throat> if I take a look at that information in, oops, I'm going to open it. If I open up number seven, all file. All of this messy stuff, let's see, we just have to try to wrap. I need it to wrap. And it's in Russian right now, and my Russian is in file format. There it is. Okay. Uh, format. Peronos uh, Poslovum. Peronos. Okay. Peronos Poslovum. All right, so this, all of this craziness you read in here is, in fact, this here. So if I do a, uh, a new document, a new document, go in. Where are my new documents? Okay, there it is. And now I do number, let's see, do number six. Six. Okay, that's number six. When I save it, Control S. Six on the desktop. Save. Go back. Close that. Yep. Go to my block notes and open number six. Repeat. That's so annoying. Open number six. You and I recognize this. This number six, as the computer recognizes this as six. So my idea, and maybe it's not an original idea, is to let's see if I can just type this to teach. Uh, the computer or software to recognize numbers and represent or interpret and then display and then well, let's do work and then display the ASCII not my keyboard or latex version. Meaning, let's see if I can pull this over, get it out of my way, thank you. Move this over. All right. So this number six. That's not gonna move this over. This number six. Why is it doing that now? Control L. I have to really be slow. That's kind of a bummer. This number six has uh, after interpretation. Via, this will not write properly. Via S V. Gee, look at that! Just not fast enough. Why not? Why isn't it not drawing properly? Look at that! I'm drawing across and it's just not taking my 
I want smoothing, I don't want any of this, I just want simple draw. Stop interpreting for me. Right, so let's get rid of all of this. You can see that clearly maybe this is not the right tool to demonstrate this. But the idea, again, is that you can take this number six, which is right here, and then interpret the number six through all of this. The computer will recognize that algorithm through OCR. OCR, Optical Character Recognition, or something similar. OCR. Click on this. This is one of the cool things about uh, uh, Inkscape. You can make your text any font size you want with just a couple of clicks. Using OCR, there's no fonts in there. And there's, I can't, I don't know what the there's no tool object here. I'm not quite sure how to activate the pen tool with a keystroke. Anyway, um, using OCR, okay, the computer will recognize numbers like this, like six, seven, eight, nine, and then interpret six and interpret them as ASCII. And we'll get the ASCII six up here. Six. So the student writes, or someone writes, number six, and then the computer interprets it, and then creates number six. They would do that. Why? Well, uh, for this purpose, you can see for doing uh, demonstrations, uh, math, solving math problems, this is clearly, Inkscape is not going to be the choice unless I've got a much, I think I might need a much more powerful computer or maybe it's the draw pad, I don't know. Um, but uh, anyway, the idea again, take this magic number six, the computer can interpret that as a bunch of numbers interpret those any numbers that kind of match these numbers and then interpret those numbers as an algorithm and represent that algorithm as or take a guess and say that is probably the number six here that's the idea I uh, hope you like it please help me uh, build it because why do I say this because uh, Google Wave so that's not going to work at all. Google Wave. Where is my pen? My pen is here. I click Google Wave. So supports, supports. I'm really slow. SVG whiteboards. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah.